Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible, Bart. Well, let me give you a shot. The very first step of this repair will be removing the top plate of this cello. Let's examine the top plate from the other side. You can see the damage is pretty serious with three major cracks and one shorter crack near the sound hole. I would say this is a very rare opportunity for me to show you the inside of the cello. Made in 1691, I begin by making some tower blocks. On this very first crack line I'm repairing, I'm gluing the tower blocks onto the wood. With the glue tower blocks on the wood, it allows me to close up the crack line by clamping it with the base bar. When the crack line has been glued and closed up, I fasten it with cleats. The purpose of gluing the cleats onto the repaired crack line is to reinforce the repair and making it strong and last. Gluing tower blocks onto the third crack line to prepare for the repair. Now the third crack line is being glued and clamped. All crack lines have been glued and cleated. I'm now shaving down the cleats. This step is really the quality assurance check, making sure that both sides of the crack lines are level. I'm now making some cosmetic works and retouching varnish so that it may look more natural. We are now at the most exciting moment. I'm gluing the repaired top plate to the body. End pin is back to the cello. Let's begin the setup. SK of Yon Strings. Thank you for watching.